Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you a brand new guide on the NVIDIA control panel for 2024. A lot of stuff changed, so I'm going to do a full review and what are the best settings for you. So first of all, to open this, normally you will have GeForce Experience or the NVIDIA app. So you just have to right click on it and open your control panel. I'm pretty sure they're going to modernize it like in the future maybe month or maybe next year because uh, it looks very old. And now with the new NVIDIA app, I'm pretty sure something will come up. So now let's start with the Manage 3D settings. So in the Manage 3D setting, the first one that you should look at I receive a lot of questions about the DSR factor. So if you want to upscale your resolution, so for example, you have like a, a, a 1080p monitor, but you want to upscale at 4K, this is pretty much where you can do it. So in my case, I can do that. Also, you have the new DL scaling over there that you can use. Uh, honestly, uh, it it's really good, but it's not good for your performance. You're going to lose a lot of FPS, but it really depends. If you're playing an old game and you just want to uh, have a better image quality, it will help a little bit. So definitely you should test this out if you want to do that. After that, low latency mode, this one definitely should be at on. So always activate it. You want to use this one. So it's a pretty cool feature. Power management mode. In the past, uh, we were saying that uh, prefer maximum performance was better. But honestly, with all the updates and all the new algorithm on those new GPUs, you should definitely go with normal. I did some tests between normal versus high performance. And honestly, I'm getting better boost, boost clock at normal and also longer boost clock. So uh, if you compare the benchmark that I did, uh, normal was better than maximum performance. And even in idle mode, it's consuming too much resources uh, for your watt. So honestly, this one use normal. For the preferred refresh rate, I recommend to go IS available. So make sure this one is checked. You always want to use uh, the IS uh, refresh rate possible. So the, the best one on your monitor. I know a lot of people who bought like I refresh monitor and they were playing at 60 Hertz and they didn't even know. So super important to use that. Shader cache size, I have a dedicated video on how to reset your shader cache on your NVIDIA card if you have stuttering issue. Driver default mean 4 gig. Um, it's not a lot now with if you're playing a lot of game and you have a lot of like UE4, UE5 games. My recommendation is go with 10 gig if it's available on your hard drive. Me, I'm playing at 100 gig. So it really depends. Like select something between 10 and 100. If you're limited with your space, go 10. If not, go with 100. And honestly, it will help you a lot if you have some issue with your uh, when you compile shader, uh, when also you have some stuttering because of that. Definitely use this one. So for Manage 3D, it's pretty much it. So we're going to say yes over there. After that, we're going to go to change ECC state. So I think it's only for the 4090, but I think maybe the 3090 Ti or something like that. You have also this option for gaming. Honestly, you don't want to use that. So make sure this one is unchecked because you're going to lose some performance. After that, change resolution. Make sure that you're playing native. Normally, you should have something like this saying native. So in my case, it's 1440p. Also, refresh rate, always use the fastest one. I know a lot of people, they have like, for example, a 240 Hertz and they're playing at 60. So super important to have your parameter over there. Also, if you have a very good TV or a nice monitor, normally you should look at your parameter for it. Uh, I recommend to use the NVIDIA color setting and do some uh, change by yourself. So in my case, I'm going 32 bit. 10 B, uh, BPC, sorry. So I have a lot of more like range in my color. I'm using RGB and using the dynamic range at full. So super important to look at your monitor. In my case, it's compatible, but a lot of monitor are currently in the market. They're just using the 8 BPC. So just use the default one. It's more like if you want to use HDR and stuff like that. The last one, the G-Sync. Uh, you want to synchronize your uh, GPU with your monitor. Uh, I know a lot of people, you, you guys are playing, you don't understand why you have like horizontal line that we call tiering. So if you have an NVIDIA card and a monitor that it's compatible with, you can't use G-Sync if you want. So you just press enable over there. You have also to select your uh, monitor. If you have two compatible, go for it. You have two options. If you're always playing full screen, definitely use this one. But if you're playing like in window mode or borderless and stuff like that, use the second one because, because the G-Sync will not apply. 
Uh, I'm not a huge fan of G-Sync. It really depends what you want to do. Me, I, I always want the lowest input lag when I'm playing my game. So normally I don't use anything. No V-Sync, no G-Sync, and I just unlock my FPS. So for example, if I'm running the game at 300 FPS, I, I'm getting a lowest input lag that if I lock my FPS at 240 and using the G-Sync. But again, honestly, it's question of preference. A lot of people at 240 they're okay with it. They just use the G-Sync and they don't have any tiering line where they, when they're playing the game. So this is pretty much it, guys, for my NVIDIA control panel guide. If you have any question, just comment in the YouTube section. Post me your uh, GPU, what type of GPU that you have, your monitor, also your question. I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.